And speaking of freak athletes, too, another one that could potentially, again, this is all speculation. We don't know if Debo's going to miss time. But another guy just in year two anyways maybe could have seen his role grow. Mm. Jalen Hurd, a complete miss last year, didn't play at all. But still 6'4", 225, played running back for a few years in college, then transitioned to slot receiver. So, I mean, still that that versatility, that run after the catch ability that, that Shanahan loves. I, I see a lot of that ability with Jalen Hurd if we ever see him fully get back. What, what do you think about him? Do you think we see anything from Jalen Hurd in year two? Jalen Hurd is like the biggest enigma on on the roster. I don't know how much you know this guy's history, but he was one of the biggest high school players in the country as a junior. I think he rushed rushed for like 3,000 yards as a junior in high school and could have gone anywhere, Alabama, LSU, literally anywhere as a running back. And everyone saw him as like the next Eddie George uh, from Tennessee. Decided to stay in Tennessee, had a good couple of years as a true freshman, a true sophomore. And then, and then something happened. He said he got a concussion. It was kind of unclear what happened. And then he decided, well, he doesn't want to play running back at all anymore. He wanted to move to wide receiver. And the t- Tennessee was totally un... They were uninterested in moving his position. They had a guy named Jawan Jennings at slot receiver that they liked a- better than Jalen Hurd, which is funny because they're now both in the 49ers. So <laughs> Hurd leaves, goes to Baylor, sits out basically a year and a half. He has a lot of history of not playing football. Missed a year and a half. He missed his senior year of high school. Uh, then he went to Baylor, played pretty well, shut himself down before the bowl game to get ready for the f- football season. Hurt himself. I don't know if he shut himself down or if the, the, the team shut him down, but initially when he hurt his back, they said three weeks. Well, here we hope he'll be back. Well, it was the whole season. So I don't know him that well, but what I'm getting at is that he may be just a little bit of a diva, <laughs> which is interesting because no one really else on the 49ers is. It's, mm-hmm. I've never seen a diva list. Lo- I mean, even Jimmy. Jimmy is such a down-to-earth guy, and really Richard Sherman is too. Richard Sherman's a former fifth-round pick who still acts like it. Um, Jalen Hurd acts like he's been famous since 2013, and Man. maybe he has been, and that he's like going to grace the 49ers with his presence eventually. Maybe it'll be this year. And I think if he ever gets on the field, he'll he'll be pretty good. He seems like he's one of the best athletes on the team. I just wonder how many healthy games he'll string together in his career but if he ever gets on the field i do think he'll make an impact yes and if he can keep he, he can string together an entire healthy off season he just might win a starting job because he's competing with guys like rookies and other injury prone people so he has a terrific opportunity Absolutely. We'll see if the, the opportunity ends up unfolding there, but the athleticism and the, we call it talent usage, if it all molds together in, in fantasy-wise, you can get him in the last round at this point, just as a and, punt. And if so, you watched you know. the Niners last year, you saw there were times where they would line up Debo Samuel in the backfield, right, in the shotgun, next to Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, I think that's probably how they envision using Jalen Hurd at times, considering he really did play running back in college.